All right, take two. Hopefully this is gonna work. Hey everybody, it's Jane from Surface Anthology and Chalk Mercantile. I am, I don't know, I'm just like, I've got the tech gremlins making me bananas. So I'm gonna make sure I'm on my page over at Facebook. I've got something really cool to show everyone. I hope you like it. All right, let me copy my link, get it over to my text group people. So I created a um, an ornament makers bundle, I'm calling it. And I'll put a link right I'll put it up here no I can't do that I'll put it in the comments there we go and let me see all right so I I love making Christmas ornaments and as many of you know I had the Merry Makers um, ornament of the month club hey Brenda how are you how's it going all right, now my computer just, <laughs> oh, oh, hey, Shannon. Oh, I love the orange and the pink. I don't know why my, my computer just did that. Hey, Julie, good to see you guys. Happy Monday. It's like a spooky day here. But I have created, I just wanted to come on and show you this. And I know it might have been you, Brenda. Somebody um, made these or similar ornaments from my tutorial, but I made an ornament makers kit and um, let me go through it. It's like an unboxing, right? How much fun is that? So it kind of goes beyond, um, you know, these and not exactly things. Oh, Brenda, a lot of it's out of stock. I was torturing them this morning, so I will go into the Surface Anthology membership group and let you know and, and let you know what I think my plan is. <laughs> it's not you, Brenda. <laughs> hey, Donna, hello. Julie, I know, aren't those cute? All right, let me show you. I know, Brenda, I'm having some, well, they're just, it's it's somebody new took over Miss Mustard Seed. They're wonderful. And they have new formulations and new stuff and a lot of the stuff I've been trying to order, it's just been out of stock. But I will, I'll go into the Surface Anthology membership group and um, tell you guys about it so you know what's going on. All right, so the first thing in this fun little bundle, it's actually not little, it's about two pounds packed full of stuff. I love bottle brush trees and then I found these bottle brush wreaths. How cute are these? And there are four of them in here and they're absolutely adorable. They're like two inches across, so they're tiny and perfect for ornaments. Brenda, I don't think, you know what, Brenda? I think you're doing really well with the um, milk paint. Let me cut in here just for a minute before I continue. When we try something new, it's like back when I was in, um, you know, I went to art school, then I went to cosmetology school, you know, I've got to try everything. And the first time I did highlights was frightening, right? Foils, the really... You know, and, and I became like an expert. I had a salon in Northern California, and you got to know how to do blondes out there, right? You got to know how to make blonde hair. And I had to do it over and over until I got really, really good at it. And a lot of times when we use materials that we're not super familiar with, they're new, they're different than what we're used to. It takes that kind of like you're not gonna get it. Well, sometimes, sometimes you get it, right? Sometimes you get the, the beginner's luck. Um, but you, but most of the time we have to do it a few times until we get the hang of it. And painting furniture, because we're not only dealing with the paint, we're dealing with the substrate, like, like the history of the, what is it painted with? Is it gonna bleed, not bleed? Does it have, you know, pledge all over it? It's all those things really come into play. So it's a lot to think about. But I promise you, Brenda, the more you do it, like you've already become better at it. So, and we'll definitely talk about that. Hey, Danielle, good to see you. 
Yep. Danielle is saying milk paint is a different animal. It is, but it's worth it. I'm telling you, it's worth it to know. Um, cause wait till you see what we're doing this month where we're, we're going to be combining two different styles of paint. Um, because it gives you so much great, um, depth and texture and all that good stuff. All right. Back to my, back to my ornament making makers bundle. So you get those four little adorable brush tree wreaths. You get a large, this is a five inch white brush tree and it's flocked. It has that white on the ends. You get these two, and it's not, it's going to be packed a little bit better than this, I promise. You get these two cute little wooden stag cutouts that are perfect size for two, um, these two houses. You get a lot of glass beads. These are glass beads. They're not plastic, so they're perfect for putting, gluing into these trees as ornaments and stuff. Oh, Brenda, that's great. Brenda's saying she can't wait. She loves also learning the history behind it. I, I'm really interested in that too, Brenda. So I'm glad that, that you're, um, you're loving all that. All right. You're going to get a yard. Um, this is Studio Carta Metallic Ribbon. It's beautiful. And I kind of used it on top of this one when I tied up my um, German mushrooms and things. And it's made in Italy. It's really, really nice stuff. And you only need a little bit. And you're going to get a yard to do with what you want. There are three little green brush trees. Hey, Sandy, howdy. <laughs> I love that. Um, so these are three little brush trees. These are three inches. And if you like the white brush trees, all you have to do is... I just take a little, um, like a Pyrex bowl, and I put some bleach and warm water, and I throw these in. I, I kind of do it into my slop sink. I put plastic gloves on, and I keep dipping them until I get the color I want. But the green is really beautiful, too. It's kind of like a, a teal green. You get a whole 100 milliliter of Authentico Vintage because you're going to want to paint your houses, right? And I'm going to select the color. I've got a lot of these. And it's going to be a light neutral color. And that's what I'll choose for you guys. You get two of these fun wooden birdhouses in here. I'm running out of room. Then you get, you know, I'm a quilter. And I've been collecting these wooden spools. So they're all vintage, obviously, because they're wood but you're gonna get three of the smaller ones and one large one. Now I, these aren't for any exact ornaments, but I kind of coordinated them. So if you wanted to make the ornament where you glue the tree on top of the spool, you can. Um, and then there's three little ones for the little trees and these look really sweet. I, line, I have a bunch of these that I made, but you glue it to the top and I put them on my mantle. They're really, really sweet. All right, so you get three of those, one large one. You get, of course, German glass glitter. And this is an ounce. Oh, <laughs> Brenda, you're so sweet. This is an ounce of German glass glitter and this is called snow. I use this one a lot. I'll show you on this house. This has got the snow glitter. And it just is like ice. I just love it. And I put it on some of the other stuff that you're going to see that's in this kit. It's really pretty. But you get these like, I, I know they're not cranberries, but I keep calling them cranberry pips. They're like these little fruits really sweet on wires and of course these are from Germany these are the spun cotton mushrooms that I love 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 and I think I'm putting in just one of every color I think there's seven here but they're really really pretty and they're great for ornaments now these white ones are vintage I 
I don't know if they're from Germany. I suspect they are, but I'm giving you a little uh, stem of those white flowers that I was on the top of that ornament, and then these buds, right? And those are spun cotton also. And it goes on. <laughs> An artist brush, right? We can always use these. You can never have enough of these when you're working on smaller projects. Tacky glue. So the tacky glue is great to put those pearls, you know, onto your tree because it's really, really thick. Pomegranate. They do look like little pomegranates, right? And I love the color too. And you can put that German glass glitter on these and it looks really beautiful. But then for glittering, you don't want to use a glue as thick as this, but you could squeeze out a little bit of the Aileen's Tacky Glue, just add some warm water to it, and then that's perfect for glittering, right? So you get a little, an adorable little thing of Tacky Glue. And then these are Prima. These are the cast resin ornaments. So you get three of these and these are great on their own. They're beautiful with glitter. You can paint them, gold leaf them, use metallic paint, anything like that. So that's in there. So you're going to be able to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, at least nine ornaments and have stuff left over for others, uh, for your stash to work in. And then I also have these um, vintage pages. Everybody will get a vintage page. Um, these are hymns. So this is a hymn page. And I actually cut these, right? I fussy cut them and I wrap them around the um, wooden spool and it looks really, really beautiful. So that's it. And it all will come into this, in this box all together. And like this, this is one of the ornaments I made with this stuff. And this is just using like one of the mushrooms, ribbon, and of course, you know, I love my iron orchid. You could work your iron orchid molds into it. Really, really, really cool. Have you all started making for Christmas yet? Ornaments, all that stuff. I have started, and that's why I said I'm putting together a kit. I just love doing this. So you guys, I put the link. This would normally be about, it's about $68 worth of stuff. It's $55.95 um, on my website at Chalk Mercantile. And hey, Diana, how are you? You're seeing me live. <laughs> Yay. Um, and of course, the Surface Anthology members, make sure you use your coupon code and you're going to get more off. Have you been copying me? <laughs> Danielle. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm telling you. Everybody, there's only a limited, limited number of these. So if you want them, grab them while you can. Any questions, ask me in the comments. No problem at all to do that. I check. I figured out the new, I sort of figured out the new, um, Facebook layout or they changed like my page and I've been posting stuff that I would normally post like on my personal page is going up on my um, business page. You know, like I love old antique gowns. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to take it down. I'm getting so confused. So Brenda, you're making Christmas frames beautiful and you're struggling with glazing antiquing. We can talk about that over in the membership for sure. And there's a whole bunch of um, tutorials. If you go into the Surface Anthology membership group, Brenda, and just search up glazing. Oh, Diana, you're visiting dad. So you get to watch YouTube while he sleeps. That's wonderful. Absolutely. I would do that with my mom. And when I go visit my mom and I would sit there and watch, you know, tutorials or read or sometimes I would just space out, you guys, honestly. Sometimes I would just let my brain rest. <laughs> but you guys, this is it. I am so glad you joined me today. I will be back again um, this week, of course. I'm, I'm, I'm shooting for Wednesday, but I might pop in tomorrow as I get myself 
and my projects all organized. There's some other stuff in Facebook I'm, I'm kind of studying um, that I want to nail so I don't mess stuff up, like Messenger. When If somebody tries to message me, I, I no longer, like if I click on Messenger, I go to the Creator Studio. So if you don't hear from me, email me, J-A-Y-N-E at Surface anthology.com. Everybody have the most wonderful day today. Thank you so much for joining me. And again, any questions about this little bundle, just let me know.